Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are now really close to team of the season, and it's safe to say I bet a lot of us are ready for it to be here now. But before it arrives, there's three big things that I want to help you guys get prepared for ahead of the biggest promo we have seen yet this year in FC24. We're going to talk about that today and what to look forward to on an upgrade pack SBC day of a Monday. We're going to look through all the things today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go back to yesterday's Sunday content really quick, and I better not forget my daily login SBC right here because I must get it done for sure. But yesterday, uh, there was a couple things that were good. There was also some things that confused me about the content that was dropped. Let's first of all take a look at the player SBC, which is probably the biggest W from yesterday. This was not leaked, guys. I'm loving the player SBCs at this moment. The showdowns have been solid. They've been great prices. Uh, some of the moments SBCs have been fun. And then out of nowhere... A flashback Alessandro Florenzi. Again, I'm loving the no leaks. I'm loving the surprise. This card for a midfielder or a right back looks incredible. A FIFA legend, Alessandro Florenzi, playing for Milan. He's got pinged pass plus and anticipate plus. Two incredible playstyle pluses. That five-star weak foot, the ability to play center mid or right back. We just had the Zambrata SBC. If you're like, Nate, I can't afford that type of card. Still want a new right back. Maybe this is the guy for you um, at a cheaper value that can also play center mid. Look at the stats on the card. 96 long shots, 99 agility, 99 volleys, 99 jumping, 99 aggression, 94 acceleration. He's got almost every single defending play style except for jockey. But he's also got pinged pass plus and whipped pass regular. This is a really nuts card. He has to be fun. He's five foot eight, high, high work rates. What's his stamina? 96 stamina. Okay, I read 73. That was the strength. Definitely needs a bit of a strength boost, but that stamina is great. Guys, this card has to be so much fun. For only 130,000 coins as well, that is a really, really insane SBC. And it's 130k without any inform requirements, just an 85 and an 87 rated squad, which is fantastic. I love that. I mean, the SBC itself has 1,800 upvotes, and it is... Um, 90% upvoted in the SBC section. I mean, I understand why. That is an incredible card, and I absolutely love it. And by the way, things are moving on the market. It seems like a lot of people are doing this card um, and replacing players that they maybe had in their team. I was just taking a look at some center mids that were down. This Goretzka was like 750k yesterday. He's under 700k right now. Probably the biggest drop in price from this SBC is a substitute, right? A lot of people were maybe using this Barella. If you think about an Italian Serie A center mid, this is the guy you think of. And he is down from 200,000 coins to 130 Hey, he might rebound a little bit at some point. Of course, you could use Barella and Florenzi in the same team because you could use Florenzi at right back and Barella as a center mid. But it is obvious that since his price started dropping yesterday after content, people are selling this card to put the new Florenzi in their team. So, absolutely love that from EA. Fantastic player SBC, a FIFA legend, and a great price. So, no complaints at all for me right there. Now, also yesterday, it was a Sunday. We didn't get a hero pick. But we did get the return and a little bit better of a version of an icon player pick, the 88 plus Encore icon, which is now instead of a one of three, there are four slots, four options. It is a one of four player pick. And I think actually they maybe dropped the price a little bit as well. 86, 87, and an 87 rated squad requirement here. You do have one in form that is required. You get some okay packs back. I mean, guys, for a one of four icon player pick, it's 250,000 coins. This is tempting a lot of people to put their SBC fodder into something like this before we head into team of the year. That's our team of the season. Sorry. This is this is something to be careful with. Like, I like it. I understand why it's tempting. It's repeatable two times. And it is craftable because we have the 83 times 10 that is out right now. We have the player picks. We have the 83 plus team of the week that you can craft and get the team of the weeks you need for this. So it's tempting, right? But I think that's what EA wanted. They want us to be putting our fodder into this to drain our clubs. Why have we got the Ronaldinho? Why have we got the Mia Ham and stuff like that recently? Like, Zambrata as well. They want us to be drained of the fodder heading into team of the season so that we have to buy more packs, right? That's the whole deal that they would be wanting from a business side of things on their end.
uh, little do they know, they're also dropping so many packs here in the SBC section that if you want to put the time in to grind, I mean, I'm sure they know this, I'm just saying, but you can grind 80 plus picks, 83 tens, uh, and open all that with the daily gold upgrades, which we'll talk about a little bit today, and probably craft this SBC for quote unquote free with some of the objective packs as well. So if you want to put in that grind, it is there. The menu grind is still there, and we love that, and we're not going to complain about that. But this did make fodder, since a lot of people don't have that much fodder in their club just offhand. They want to go put into this. Fodder is up big time. GG's if you invested. That's what I got to say. GG's if you invested. We shouted the 85s and 86s, and they did good. 87s, uh, I think we even mentioned in yesterday's video, they were like 8.5. We said 8.5K would have been decent at squad battle rewards. I don't know if they ever got that low. Um, yeah, they really didn't. They didn't go too much below 9k, but after the content yesterday with the Florenzi SBC and the Encore player pick, these cards flew. 87s are 12,000 coins apiece after they were 9k and even 8k on Friday. Unbelievable. 88s are up to 17,000 coins. 89s, 90s, and 91s. All fodder is up, which is what we expected. I expected a little bit bigger of a rise on the 85s. I think there's still another SBC coming out that could make those rise. Uh, but the everything basically above 85, 85, 86 is and up. Everything is doing very good. So GG's if you invested. I don't think it's a sell time yet. I think, honestly, these card prices on the fodder situations uh, could continue to rise throughout the week, especially a little bit more into today as we get more of those upgrade packs potentially put out. Now, how are informs? I don't think informs are up that much. Uh, okay, it looks like there's still 23,000 coins, so they are not up that much, which is interesting. Oh, they're down even. Wow, okay, below 20, 22K? All right, 22,000 coins for informs. They are still low. So we'll see if anything comes out in the next day or two that requires those informs. And if they, maybe we'll see them start to push up in price and in value. Uh, or other than that, they'll probably stay the same. We do have the 83 times 10 that is there still for demand. But I think with more informs and packs because of the best of, they're getting supplied a little bit more on the market as well. Here's my one confusing thing with content yesterday. Where's our cup, man? It still says in game that we are expecting a cup. And there is nothing in here under the live tab, under the seasonal tab. There is nothing about a cup, guys. And I'm a little bit confused about that because uh, usually when we get a cup, and EA again has advertised that we are getting a TOTS warm-up cup, that's something that we see on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday so that we have time to grind that during the week. Yeah, it's still right there. TOTS warm-up cup. I don't know where that is. I'm confused as to why it's not out. Uh, but that's one thing I wanted to mention. Also, I'm a little confused. EA says on here, daily upgrade SBCs. Unless they're counting the 88 plus as an upgrade SBC, which I personally wouldn't. We didn't get an upgrade SBC yesterday. So, hey, I don't know, man. EA, drop some more SBCs. You said daily. An Encore Icon player pick. I mean, that's kind of an upgrade pack. I guess it's under the upgrade section in the SBCs, but you know, I don't know. We put that in our own kind of category. That, that's a gamble, right? That is a, I'm shooting for something massive, not an upgrade SBC like an 83 times 10. At least that's where my mind goes. So maybe that falls under their criteria, but I was a little confused, especially as to why we didn't get the cup yesterday. Now, let's get to the meat of the video today, guys, and talk about the three things that we need to do on this Monday. And as we kind of begin this week of TOTS warm-up series, the last couple of days before Team of the Season cards actually get dropped in this game, the three things that we need to do to prepare. All right, we're going to jump right into it. It's kind of piggybacking off of just what we talked about with SBC fodder, guys. You need fodder during Team of the Season. And the range of fodder that you need during Team of the Season goes from the gold rare cards, right? Think about the gold upgrade packs. Uh, last year, I think, was a year where golds, all the golds on the game, gold rares, went from 700 coins minimum price up to over 1,000, right around 1.1 to 1.2K during Premier League Team of the Season because of the upgrade packs that they put out that require 11 rare golds that has been happening in the past few years during team of the season will it happen this year in my opinion no i don't think i would be somebody who was going out and investing in rare golds because they didn't even move this year during team of the year which was crazy gold rares i think were like 700 800 maybe 850 at their max if they only went that high during team of the year why would they go higher during team of the season that's the way that i'm going to look at it unless we get different sbcs 
we'll have to see. But the rest of the fodder market, guys, right now fodder is up. And we've been talking about investing in the last week. I think fodder this week will continue to go up. And it is good to try to acquire uh, fodder via the packs in the store, like doing the 8310s, maybe opening one or two of those. And of course, doing all of your objectives. I think that's really, really important before we head into team and season. And a lot of this fodder is in demand. Now, am I going to say hold your fodder that you invested in through the first couple weeks of tots? No, because historically, during the first couple weeks of team of the season, the fodder drops off. Like the fodder drops off a good amount. Um, I mean, these 81 plus packs, those are stuff that we're probably going to be saving, you know, and you want to save some of your packs so that you can start to get fodder during team of the season. But since so many people do save packs and since EA drop a lot of lightning rounds as well during team of the season, usually you see fodder drop, but then later on it goes up after the first week or two of team of the season if you look back to last year like the first week of tots and premier league tots were really low fodder tanked but then after that it exploded because there were so many spcs out and the saved pack supply all the packs that people had saved um kind of dried up and that supply ran thin and they went back to the market to go buy those cards so all that to say with the spcs that we're going to get during team of the season there's always fodder demand guys think about it every single week we're going to have guaranteed tots spcs those are one of the main things that we invest in fodder for and we watch the fodder market for during team of the season is Premier League Tots guaranteed, Bundesliga Tots guaranteed for the first two weeks uh, of the actual Tots promo. It looks like we're going to have a live Tots guaranteed pack as well for all the cards that have been leaked recently. And we're going to look at a few more leaks that dropped uh, in today's video as well. That's a pack that's in the code. It's also, it doesn't say untradeable. Um, neither does the Premier League one. So maybe that's not our guaranteed tots pack that we normally think of. Uh, but you know, you're going to need fodder for those guys. Like take a look, Marco Royce last year during tots warm up went from 9,000 coins to 13 K as an 85 rated card. Wow. Fodder prices were very different last year, right? But look what happened after team of the season started, it went from 13 K all the way down to 6,000 coins during prem tots. And then after that, during the rest of tots, he was up at like nine to 10,000 coins. So I think fodder is something that we will need. And the way you can prepare now by is doing the daily SBCs, man. Just putting in a little bit of a shift through the daily gold, daily bronze, uh, silver, and then into the daily gold. Hit some 81 plus player picks. Maybe you open 183 times 10 per day just to put some fodder in your club. And that way you don't go into team of the season with just nothing. All right. So I think that's one thing I would recommend for you guys to do right now. Um, also is to play the game a little bit, like hit some squad battles games. If that's what is like the least stress amount of gameplay to you is hit some squad battles games. Make sure to get this, uh, the tots daily warm up done. The Golazo goal master just scoring goals gets you an 86 times three after scoring um, 11 more goals, I'm going to get that pack. The 87 times 4 for the rivals and champs goals. And then an 85 times 10 for that. Like, I'm working towards that. The champs bonus packs. But even the easier ones, too. The TOTS warm-up ones. The new TOTS opening weekend that we just kind of clicked over that they dropped yesterday as well. Like, that's just stuff that if you play the game a little bit right now, it's going to go a long way once team of the season has actually started. It is pretty easy to grind fodder in this game. I think most people just don't want to do too much of it because it does take a little bit of work. But if you do that little bit of work now, you're going to set yourself up ahead of team of the season way better than you would be if you're going into tots with like no fodder in your club and just maybe a couple of packs in the store. So that's one thing I would recommend doing right now is get involved with some fodder, find a way to stock your club a little bit so that you're ready to go once that fodder is in need. Now, the second thing I want to talk about in this, we've mentioned this already and we've talked about it a lot, but this is just something to kind of prepare you guys with as well. If you haven't done this too much is sell tradable cards from your team if you have not already the market's actually gone up in the past couple of days as we've talked about prices have gone up after the panic selling has kind of hit its worst point last week it's probably going to be uh, another week where we have some more panic selling but prices are up like this veron was under a million he was like nine hundred thousand coins he's now 1.1 million uh this Saka was 800k and now he's a million coins right you can look across the market and see that a lot of prices are up on most cards, especially the most middle tier to top tier meta cards. It's a good time and a good reminder once again to take the cash and sell some of these cards because the long term, you'll be very happy that you did. Now, this is for out of packs cards, uh, but also it's going to be once we get into team of the season, you're not going to want to hold on to those cards as well because the reason team of the season does a number to the market is there's so many cards that are coming into packs 
and they're decently packable, but it just raises the power curve every single year. Like this Darwin Nunez last year uh, was 800,000 coins when he first came out. He just dropped all the way down until team of the season started. He had a little bit of a kickback during Premier League Tots because people wanted to buy Premier League players to link up with other Premier League Tots cards they were packing. We'll talk about that during the time when it comes. It's a great way to trade and to invest a bit um, to get ahead of the game during those certain leagues of Tots. But look, Darwin goes from 350, he goes up to 440, so big rise. But after Prem Tots is over, boom, two weeks later, he's 200,000 coins. And that is going to happen this year once again with cards that are out of packs. Like some of these foot birthdays have tanked, right? But like, I would not be holding this Salah right now. Even this Mudrick, a card like this Mudrick is going to just be forgotten about in two to three weeks. And his price is going to be forgotten about too. He's going to drop a lot because the cards that were once good, they just get pushed out of the power curve, right? And again, even with Team of the Seasons, if you pack a TOTS card during its TOTS week, take a look at this Marcus Rashford last year. 7 million drops down to the next week to 5 million coins and then he just tanks just tanks after that guys especially as we roll into the summer and continue to get closer to those end game promos you think about footies you think about this year with the euros that's another um like live cards path to glory is something that we almost always see with the euros and with copa america coming up this summer there are big kind of content uh, you know possibilities on the horizon as well another reason to be as untradeable as you can be 90% of the time. If you want to try cards, and I'll be the first person to say, if you want to try cards during team of the season that are expensive when they're in pack and you want to try out the new, the greatest team of the season cards, by all means, do it, okay? But just don't hold on to them for that long. That's just something that will save you tons and tons of coins on a year-round basis on this game. Um, but if you're just that little bit extra market savvy, even if it's just that simple tip of not holding on to cards for too long, you're going to save yourself so much pain and so much headache during a team of the season and beyond. So that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. And the final thing, third thing here is we're going to talk about gameplay for a second here because gameplay during team of the season is probably one of the most hype times to play during the year you got foot champs rewards that look like this right this is an Aussie video last year of ultimate tots foot champs rewards with the red foot champs design which they had for the first time ever last year in fifa 23 they're bringing it back this year according to the rumors red picks are back for team of the season which is something we look forward to every single year and it brings so much hype to foot champs gameplay division rivals gameplay basically everybody's back on the game it makes gameplay the worst ever like guys gameplay is going to be the worst ever during team of the season this year worse than it's ever been and the reason we need to prepare for that is maybe you need to get some tactics set up maybe you need to change your team up a little bit maybe you need to go watch some other tactics videos and get the best formation and you know that sort of thing go watch inception go watch boris go, whoever you watch that sort of thing Go check out a couple of those videos and maybe you just look at your team and say, all right, what do I need to do to get prepared for this? What do I need to do? Not to be a rat, okay? Not to be a rat, but just to be ahead of the game. Because once again, guys, it is in the pack code that we are getting, even with the promo cards coming out this weekend, I think we got to be watching the weekend league rewards that are coming out on, uh, or that maybe that get changed on this uh, Wednesday or Thursday, because we have live TOTS card champions players packs in the code so that means this upcoming weekend league could potentially have team of the season cards as rewards which we probably will and it's going to get sweaty real quick and that's going to mean especially with all the people coming back onto this game that the servers are going to be overloaded and gameplay is going to be shocking okay another reason i'm mentioning this is just to mentally prepare yourself for probably some of the worst gameplay you will ever experience on this game and it will make people upset it will make me upset for sure but if you're mentally prepared ahead of time and you know that's going to be coming you can save yourself a lot of the stress and the headache because you'll be expecting it and it won't surprise you you know that sort of thing so that's what i wanted to mention in uh today's video as well i'm pretty happy with my team at the moment this is an objective team it's not uh my main team but uh, that's just something i wanted to mention because it's gonna get bad okay it's gonna get bad for gameplay here in the next couple of weeks so let's talk about today monday upgrade pack days right mondays always bring us upgrade packs what else can we expect today on this game first of all again we mentioned it already where's the cup maybe that comes today i'm gonna stop guessing at this point because it says we're supposed to get one i'm surprised we haven't gotten one and then more upgrade packs i talked about the 85 times 
uh, two e-figs that was added to the code. Today would be probably the best day for them to drop that pack, if I'm being honest. I mean, not I, I don't work for EA, but I'm just saying, EA, today will be a good day to drop that pack. We could do it multiple times between today, tomorrow, you know, through the end of the week. I would watch out for that one today since it did not drop yesterday as well. Um, and then, of course, you know, the daily refresh of the store pack. I mean, the 10 coin pack, which is cool. I might have forgotten mine yesterday, which is painful, but... At least here I'm getting myself some gold rares for 10 coins. You can never go wrong with a 10 coin pack. Wow, that was shocking. But we'll take it because it's 10 coins. Um, the other question I have about today is, before we get into looking at a couple of the leaks too, because we have more live tots leaks, um, what are we going to do for this 80 plus player pick, man? I really like this. Really like the player picks refreshing every single week. If this goes away today, that's going to really throw a wrench into our menu crafting grinding plans and and capabilities because this 80 plus player pick is what consistently supplies my club with the 81s the twos the threes even though those are considered like l pulls you know you're searching for the 85s and above right and you get those from this you do fodder is great from 80 plus player picks but um, if this goes away today, then doing the daily gold upgrade and rinsing, what are we going to rinse into? The 77 plus? I mean, is there an 81 double that's out right now too or something like that? Like all I care about is the player picks because they give you the best fodder for the value. What do we have right now? We have the daily gold upgrade. Yeah, the 77 plus and no, we don't even have an 81 double. We just have the 77 plus. They got to keep dropping uh, the player. They got to keep the player picks here today. Whether it's they re-release the 80 plus or they bring out the 81 plus, continuing their 81 plus and 80 plus kind of like back and forth. We got to have PPs. Uh, maybe they do like an 80 plus times three. I guess that would be fine as well. But we got to have player picks, man. I think we need them, especially for the menu craft and menu grind. They need to be there. We're just going to open a quick set of three. Hopefully they prove my point as to why they're good. I'll take an 83. Boom. Also, with the duplicates that I get from this, I'm doing team of the week picks because I need that fodder. All right, save me here. Last pick. Walk out. 85 plus. Need it. Want it. Don't get it. Okay, that was a poor set. But you know what? You keep moving on and you keep doing those because you can do at least, I don't know, how many of those per day for free with the daily gold upgrades? Another shot for these, man. Do not let these just slide by. Do the daily golds. They are fantastic, okay? So um, watch out for a refresh of that today. And then also, we have Champions League this week, guys, which means... This UEFA marquee matchups SBC, um, I guess maybe they do the other two Champions League games instead of just doing um, Arsenal, Bayern, and Madrid City. Um, maybe they're going to go for Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, and Barca PSG. I don't know. That's just a guess. But uh, I do believe we'll get tradable pack supply today with UEFA marquee matchups. And uh, uh, probably another player SBC as well. Like, guys, we've been getting daily player SBCs for a while now. Jeffrey Condogbia, Marseille in that first leg didn't look that great. I don't think I'm going to do this SBC. I do need to decide on some of the showdowns. I have to craft Eric Dyer. I'm still working on Mia Ham. I got to do Joe Scally, and I got to do Florenzi as well. Thank goodness I'm going to open a few of my 83 times 10s because I need that fodder to be crafting right now. I'm not saving every single pack. No way. I got to be saving some, but I also got to be opening some others so we can keep the menu grind going. Now, let's look at all the live TOTS team leaked players. For the end of the video, I'm going to open 83 times 10 as well because I have it today. But we had a couple more names leaked. Yesterday, we looked at a ton of names in the video. Um, and there's so... Guys, this promo team is massive and supposedly there's 11 more players as well like i don't even know how many are right here but asy foot trader leaked this and says which sbcs do you think we have two real madrid cards maybe one's an sbc there will be at least 11 more players like what that is insane an insane amount of players is going to be in packs and they're all live cards at that so uh gabby vega i think that's another al ali player so we've got um alan saint maximin and Gabby Vega from Al Ali. But then Bayer is a new leak that we did not see earlier. Let's see who else. Kuti Romero. That's a brand new leak that has just come out. Klaus. That's a name I didn't see as well. Maybe even Havertz. Wow. Okay. Havertz is big. Yeah, guys. This is um, this is looking good. But there are so many cards and so many leaks. There's even a couple of women's players, which this, this might sneakily confirm that the men's and the women's TOTS cards for the leagues might be in packs at the same time as well. Ramirez from Chelsea. And Weaver from Portland Timbers are leaked to be coming as uh, live TOTS cards as well. Oh, that just reminded me, mentioning Team of the Season, the community, the Prem TOTS. If we're going to see a Team of the Season voting, guys, if we're going to have it, today would be a very likely day where it could come out as well. That has not been talked about at all. EA has said nothing 
about tots of voting. But if it's going to happen, I think today is going to be at the very, like, I don't know, it would be really late for tots voting, but it could be today. Could be today where we see votes, maybe Wednesday at the very latest too. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. If there's news around that, uh, of course, we will cover it. But let's end the video with an 83 times 10. Any good luck here? I'm just hoping for good fodder that I can, wait, Shalhanaglu? Oh, cooked. Without promo cards at packs, it seems like a terrible idea to open these. I can't lie. Uh, but at least those 83s and 4s are going to turn themselves into a team elite player pick. And if I get high rated walkouts, which I hopefully will in the next one, those will go into Mia Ham and all the other player SBCs that I want to get done while still crafting the menus right now. But also while not putting my club into um, a, such a deficit of fodder. Oh, also the 82 times 11. I got to get this done. That's probably what I'm going to craft right now. This SBC refreshes today, the efigs one. So if you're trying to stack up all the packs possible, make sure you go ahead and and do that so that's going to be the video for today guys i'm still going to trade a bit i mean be a little risky on the market i don't know i don't think the market's going to crash too much in the next day or two um there will probably be some price drops but get on bids look at the state of that 379 for that blank i'm going to watch this next block on bid this, this is a 430,000 coin card and it just went for 50k less than what he normally does so Get on bids, get on the market, because there is money to be made. And I will see you guys in a Twitch stream today where we'll open packs, craft the menus, and count the day down until we get to team of the season. If you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. It's been Nathan with Account. Catch you later. Peace.